Welcome back. Uh, we're going to be looking at a voltage gain calculation example in this video. Um, hope you watched the video on the derivation of generalized voltage gain for a common gate amplifier. So just to review, uh, this is this is the circuit we had, and I think the video's name itself is just common gate amplifier. Um, generalized voltage gain okay so make sure you watch that because it's a pretty long derivation and um, it, we need to know it before we proceed in with this example all right so this is um, this is the circuit we had I think we also had a little output resistance there okay so I mean it's understood that it's there right so this the gain we got from there was this right um, you must have written it down anyways. So based on this, we have to calculate, I mean, we're going to be using this equation today in, in this example. So based on this, we're, we have to calculate the gain of a given circuit that looks like this. Okay. So on comparing this with what we just saw, right, what do we know? VB, V out, RD, RS. See, we have everything from here to the top. Everything is similar, right? But below it, here in the in the ideal case, we have an RS and then a uh, input voltage source. But here, there's a transistor. It's a PMOS with an input voltage given to its gate, right? So what we have to do is work like mathematicians. What do they do? They basically break every, I mean, they break down the most complex of problems into 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 parts where they can really understand, right, uh, to, 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 to proceed further. So we have to break this circuit down to look something like this so that we, we know what to do with that formula. All right. Okay, so all our... Um, goal is right now is to reduce this uh, this structure right here the end into this um, V in say equivalent and an R equivalent and then we can just connect this this part to this circuit and we'll have the same behavior right all right so let's work with this one then this is m1 there and it'll also have an ro1 right so what can we do with this circuit to make it look like this right all we need is the output voltage here right and an equivalent resistance. So this is a Thevenin equivalent of this circuit. Now, what does this circuit look like basically? If you think, if we think hard enough, it's it's just a, it's just um, a MOSFET whose gate has an input voltage, and the and the output is being taken out from the source terminal. And where have we seen something like that before? Ring a bell. So the input voltage given to the gate and from the source terminal you're taking the output voltage. It's just a common drain amplifier, right? So that's all it is. For a common drain amplifier, we already know very simple methods to get the output voltage, which will be equivalent to the uh, voltage drawn here, right? So all it is, we have to go come back to our little crazy diagram, remember? The output branch and see what all resistance are connected to that. So let's do that. Let's, let me take a different color. One thing you have to notice with our videos here on Enerati is that um, most of them are interlinked, right? So it's like you, you, uh, you can't just pick up one lecture and start watching it um, without uh, following from the previous ones because I think we've, we've kind of following a trend here. All right. Okay. Um, all right. We were deriving the 
uh, output voltage here. So the, look at the crazy diagram. <laughs> so we have RO1. Obviously, this is going to have a GM1. How is that? GM1 is VGS, right? So GM1 here in this path. So we're going to have 1 over GM1 there. And then another one, which would be GMB, right? Source to bulk. Because the output is taken from the source, we're going to consider that as well. So, 1 over GM B1, right? So that's all it is. So, if we come to V in equivalent, that is this voltage that is being taken from here, can be written as R01 parallel to 1 over GM B1 over R01 parallel to 1 over GM B1 plus 1 over GM1 times V in, right? As simple as that. Now, because we already have videos talking about how we got here, I'm not going to really explain as to how we got here, but if you want to know, there are videos called, I think, uh, Shortcut to Gain and stuff like that in the Common Drain Amplifiers um, series of lectures. So I think you can watch there. But this is all it is, right? So we now have the value of this V in equivalent, right? In terms of V in. All we need now is REQ, and REQ is the most simplest of things in the world, right? We all we have is three resistances in parallel. So that's RO1 parallel to 1 over GM1 parallel to 1 over GMB1. Okay? Now what we have to do is we have, we have to use these equations in the master gain equation that we have from before. Right? Oops, we're out of paper here. Hold on. So, let's do that first. So, all we need here is V out over V in is, um, hope you have the common gate, generalized gain formula handy so that you'll know what I'm doing here. So, GM2 plus GMB2, I'm, I'm going to write it down again, anyways. RO2 plus 1 over RO2 plus 1 plus GM2 plus GMB2 RO2. Here are, instead of RS, I'm going to write R equivalent, right? R equivalent plus RD times RD, uh, that's all it is. Now, we have to substitute the values we've got from there, from the, uh, let me take you down there, right? These values we have to substitute in there. Wow, my computer is actually slow, so it finds it difficult to process this slow speed too. <laughs> okay. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute this value for R equivalent and this value for V in basically. So if, if you know the gain derivation, what happens is V in is actually on the right hand side, right? So what you will get ultimately is V out over V in equals the same thing, GM2 plus GMB2, RO2 plus 1, over RO2 plus 1 plus GM2 plus GMB2, RO2, ah, that's more brackets, and then RO1 parallel with 1 over GM1, one parallel with one over GM B one. That's R equivalent plus R D, right? Times um, R D, and then times. We also have to include the V in equivalent um, value, right? So what did we get? We got R one parallel with one over GM B one over RO1 parallel with 1 over GMB1 
uh, plus 1 over gm1. Okay, makes sense. Um, you'll notice that this video was more about uh, just reducing that little... Uh, let me go back to that video. I mean, let me go back to that uh, circuit first. So it's, it was all about just reducing this uh, thing connected to the source of the MOSFET here into something that we've seen already, right? That's all we did, nothing much. So we found out that this this was like a common whoops this was like a common drain amplifier, and then we reduced it to its Thevenin equivalent to have an equivalent voltage and and, res, and resistance, right? And that equivalent voltage was nothing but the output voltage, which we got from the shortcut. We know that it's all just the parallel resistance is connected to the output branch, right? And all we did was just substitute these values in places where they're supposed to go, that's all, right? All right, perfect. Um, let me know, you know, you can comment uh, at the bottom saying you couldn't understand anything and I'll make the video, again, probably addressing uh, in more depth, all right? Thank you so much for watching. See ya.